Welcome back to Climb Culture, where we plunge deep into the harrowing tale of two extraordinary climbers, Jason Wells and Tim Klein. Brace yourself as we unveil the chilling events that unfolded in their path. At the break of dawn on June 2nd, tragedy struck as these fearless climbers embarked on their ascent of the treacherous Salada Wall. Free Blast, a section notorious for its challenges, would become the haunting site of a horrifying incident. Amidst the perilous journey through pitch 9 or 10, with its unforgiving 5.7 terrain near Mammoth Terraces, an unimaginable catastrophe unfolded. A bone-chilling scream pierced the air as both climbers, bound by ropes, hurtled a heart-stopping 1,000 feet towards the unforgiving ground below. But who were these brave souls, and how did such a cataclysmic event befall these seasoned climbers? Jason Wells, who was 45 years old and lived in Boulder, Colorado, had a job where he took care of people's money at Granite View Asset Management. He finished his studies at a place called the University of California, San Diego, in the year 1995. Jason got married in June 2016. He has a wife and a daughter from before. So, they say helping people, you know, is the thing to do in this world. You know, that's the purpose of life, so... You know, now you can feel good about it. Now we feel good about it, right? All right, this... Tim Klein, who was 42 years old and lived in Leona Valley, California, was a teacher at Palmdale High School. He was really good at his job, and people recognized him for being an excellent teacher. Uh, what effect has Tim Klein had on you? Oh, man. <laughs> for starters, Tim Klein is one of my own personal heroes. In May of 2018, he won a special award called Teacher of the Year at Palmdale High for the second time. Tim finished his studies at a place called Loma Linda University Health in the year 2000. He got married on April 14, 2001, and had two little boys. The day of the accident. The day unfolded like any other Saturday, with climbers on diverse routes within the vicinity. Accompanying Wells and Klein was Prince, their climbing companion. Jordan Cannon and Jeremy Showborn was also climbing the same route at the same time as Wells and Klein. As the clock struck 5 a.m., Cannon and Showborn commenced their ascent, a ten-part journey along the lower reaches of El Capitan. Their ambitious quest was to conquer the daunting Golden Gate route, a grueling endeavor spanning five days. In the midst of their progress, they found themselves joined by Jason Wells and Tim Klein, who traversed from one pitch to another with astonishing speed and with minimal gear. Cannon, in a generous gesture, offered Wells the opportunity to pass ahead, Yet, with an unwavering determination, Wells declined, stating, It's okay, I want to see how you do this tricky roof move. With each step forward, Cannon faced the daunting challenge of a boulder problem, while Wells continued his climb, accompanied by Klein reaching the precipice known as Triangle Ledge. Wells advanced fearlessly, forsaking the use of protective gear. He deftly prepared his rope for Klein, pressing onward to conquer the next segment of the ascent. Klein, equipped with a separate rope, ascended and secured a lifeline for Prince, who was the third, positioned beneath him. The team surged forward, their pace unwavering, as they defied the boundaries of the towering rock face. As Prince triumphed over a demanding segment, Cannon trailed closely behind the trio, patiently awaiting Prince's completion of the half-dollar pitch and the removal of the hanging second rope. Cannon stood poised at the entrance. At approximately 8.15 a.m., as Wells climbed toward Mammoth Terraces, Cannon heard a thud. Cannon saw Wells fall roughly 60 meters, then Klein fell. Cannon's eyes widened in horror as Wells plummeted from 1,000 feet, colliding with the unforgiving rock face. Call Yosar! Cannon shouted to Jeremy Showborn. Wells and Klein had fallen off the route. Their rope momentarily caught behind a block. Then their cord severed and both Wells and Klein fell approximately 1,000 feet to the ground. As we conclude this episode of Climb Culture, we are reminded of the tragic events that unfolded on that fateful day. Tim Klein and Jason Wells, two highly experienced climbers, faced a horrifying accident during their climb. Our hearts go out to their families and loved ones. In the face of this tragedy, let us remember Tim Klein, a dedicated teacher and recipient of the Teacher of the Year Award.
His passion for education and love for his family left a lasting impact on those around him. Jason Wells, a skilled climber and investment manager, will be remembered for his accomplishments and the love he shared with his wife and daughter. While we delve into these stories, it serves as a stark reminder of the risks involved in the world of climbing. Let us cherish the memories of those who have left us too soon and honor their adventurous spirits. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the lives of these remarkable individuals. Stay tuned for more gripping stories and incredible adventures here on Climb Culture. Remember to stay safe, stay inspired, and keep exploring the world around you.